This is the new Cream Source Vortex 4. This is a Synity Gear News video supported by B&H and CVP. Hi, this is Nino from Synity here at NEB 2022, and we are here at the Cream Source booth with Spencer. How are you? Hi, Nino. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm very well. Um, happy to be here after. Three years? Three uh, years, indeed. Um, actually, during those three years, I talked to your CEO, yes. Tama. Mr. Burkle, John. And he did actually demonstrate us the original Vortex 8, yes. I think it was. That's correct, yeah. That was quite impressive. We will link to that video from here. Okay. But you recently introduced a new one, the we did. Vortex 4. My, but let's start at the beginning. Okay. What can you tell me about the Vortex series? Um, we launched the Vortex 8. That was the, the first part of our series probably about 18 months ago, um, in the middle of uh, the horrible epidemic that we were all suffering. Um, and the response was phenomenal, um, quite, quite a huge change for us. Um, we, we grew rapidly, um, made some tough decisions and worked as an amazing team to get where we are today. Uh, so eight, the Vortex 8 was the first, uh, the first part of the Vortex series and the, the newest uh, arrival is the Vortex 4. Um, and the eight represents eight zones, and the four obviously represent the four zones. Um, and the zones technically came from our earlier product, which was a micro color. Uh, so all the color, the color chip, the chip management is the same from the micro color to the Vortex 8 to the Vortex 4. So where would you say, I mean, there's so many lighting companies out there now. There's a lot of innovation happening in the LED lighting space. Yep. What's, what sets the Vortex series apart from the rest in the market? Um, the key is the philosophy from Cream Source has always been uh, we can make hard lights soft, but we can't make soft lights hard. Uh, before the Vortex series and the Micro, our early products were the Doppio and the Mini, which were all lensed chips. So we've always made hard lights, um, and we've always then had the philosophy you make a hard light, then we work back to make it as soft as you wish. Uh, you can't make soft hard. Um, the key points as well was from three and a half years ago when we sat around the table and, and had, we, we worked as a team for our roadmap was to make, obviously, the two by one format was, uh, it was the accepted standard of LED lighting and the one by one. Um, but our goal was to make a, a fixture that was uh, very powerful, very punchy, with very good colors, that had internal power supplies, that had internal uh, CRMX or Lumen and Lumen Timo 2. Um, built like a tank and was IP65. The key for us was always the IP rating. We found that out from our end users who loved the micro due to its IP rating uh, and there was no discussion to go lower on IP65. Um, and that's, that's what I think the, 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 the enthusiasm over the Vortex has been that you know the big rental houses from the biggest rental house down to the one guy with his little bus and a couple of lights love the fact is they can go out put it out it can rain it can snow it can be a sandstorm and um, we've had videos on instagram with end users actually coming back from a job and taking a karcher i'm not allowed to say karcher but and then jet washing down their fixtures and putting them back on the truck i mean it's it's phenomenal so is it do you think it's mainly made for rental houses or do you see a lot of end users buying them as well it, it, uh, it, it's it's in the last year we've we've come to realize as I say it can be some of the largest global rental houses in the world who've, who've taken a, and, and we're so humble for that but we're more humble also for as I say a, a lighting gaffer who's got like a little five ton truck or a two ton truck uh, the ones and twos the the, the versatility the, the the toughness and the ability to give a punchy light and also then be fully waterproof and have the MX if you need it or the wireless if you need it. Um, it goes through the, the whole range and, and that's been noticeable since, since obviously we've been able to travel uh, in the last few months and you're going around and you're seeing every sort of little rental house who's actually got them on show at a booth and, and, and the feedback's been great. I mean, everybody is, is, is loving the versatility. Uh, cool. I mean, and now we have the new one here, the four. Yeah. What can you tell me about this light specifically? Um, again, it, 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 the four and the eight, they all, they all use the same uh, OS, the operate, the Cream OS operating system. The feedback we've had in general, well, in, more than in general, from many end users, is that the ease of use, the the the, the operating system, is really uh, user friendly, 
very easy to pick up. Let's actually just turn it around for okay. a second so people yeah, also see the back here. Um, as you can see, we, we the, the, the user interface, we've got it on a demo mode at the moment. Um, you know, we just have very simple, very easy to read uh, and, and touch screen, or not touch screen, but actual soft touch uh, buttons for. Um, and you said the power supply is built in? The power supply, so basically we just go straight in with a with a, an AC cord. We also have then a 48 volt DC input. Um, and the, the, the firmware from before, we actually have now done it that you can actually set your DC input. There's a lot of uh, it's like block battery types that only really run to about 450 or 480 uh, watts. And obviously on the Vortex 8, that's 650. Um, so what you can do, you can technically dial in your DC input. And that's with the new firmware update that you no, just that released? The firmware before, the before on the new one. firmware update we've, we've done on a more technical level for the much larger scale productions where you're using sort of 100, 200. We now have RDM over fixed DMX cabling or over CRMX. We have DMX presets so you can fix them for a DMX. You can have a really complicated multi uh, flex uh, DMX mode and then you can quickly save that and then put it on an, and then go to another preset. Uh, and also on the new latest update, we do then uh, USB now has a power to the port. And also we can store individual show files or take the whole, the whole file memory of a, one fixture, be it a four or an eight, and then, then just copy it straight onto another fixture. Cool. Do you see your lights used a lot on TV sets or you know, like for studio lighting? Or is it more like film sets or is it a mixture? Um, it's it's a mixture, but I, 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 to be honest, I think it's it's turning more and leaning more towards the uh, the more the location type. I mean, we've we've had numerous uh, images of how many vortexes is the largest rig at the moment. It stands at 95 on a rig, uh, which was in the UK. The one before that was 65, which was in the Sacre Coeur in Paris. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention Gaffer's name, but that was the lovely Helmut Prine had 65 of them on a huge rig. Uh, and then, and, I mean, what's really common is like 20 of them on a, on a Manitou or... Uh, there the, the, was in London at the BSE show and uh, a Gaffer came up and he said, you know, and it's lovely to actually finally have face-to-face -face event users and feel their positivity because yeah. we've been selling lots of them, but we'd never spoke to anybody and got the feedback. Um, and he said, yeah, I had like 75 of them for three months on rigs every day outside and every morning we come in turn them on go out turn them off and work like clockwork no issues whatsoever rain and what rainproof rainproof yeah. which is important in the uk well yeah in most of northern europe to be honest no, no but it's not only rain it's also ip65 is also dust so um i know a, a, another that gaffer on it who has a lot of our fixtures he had them out in tunisia in the desert he came back and again with the jet wash washed them down tested Back on back on the rack on the track on the truck. Very cool. That's quite unique. No, I, I don't know of many lights that are IP65 proof. Um, not, not that I really researched, no, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of light that are that no, I, I mean, built again, like I, this. I think that comes from you know the company was founded by the lovely guys back in 2005, and the the you know the mechanical design, the mechanical not only the the brains inside, but the mechanical design. We all come from the set. We know how it, how gear gets treated, and we know that it can last, yeah, a little while or, or not a little, while. <laughs> or not, <laughs> or not. Or half a shoot, or half, a, half shoot. a shooting day. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so the key is we we've uh, we've listened and we've listened to end users, we've listened to rental houses. We know what they do because we've all been there before. Um, so when you know that's why we we get standard a three year warranty, uh, and with registration that goes to five. Uh, you know that, that we put a lot of trust in our products because. We've learned so much from what we'd made before, but also from what end users have asked us to make better. Yeah. And that's the key with Cream Sauce. We really try to listen to everything that, that the end users want. You know, we don't want to tell you what you should be using. You want, we want you to tell us what we should be making for you. And hence with the, the latest firmware update, uh, we've, we had, we're very fortunate to work with a, a lovely UK guy called Dan Walters. Um, who's a board operator who done the last Mission Impossible, he's just about to start. And, and we used his knowledge uh, because, you know, Sasha, our amazing CTO, is, is, can do everything, but it still needs an end user's touch to refine it and say it's good or it's... <laughs> 
or crap. Or crap. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, very nice. Let's talk about pricing and availability of this puppy. Pricing, pricing is a really tricky one at this moment. Obviously, we have a, we have a list pricing on everything, um, but due to the real volatile situation of freight, because every you know, I can say a list price is two thousand eight hundred bucks, but it's really irrelevant at the moment because freight from our, we have our own facility in Chengmen in China, uh, it, it changes daily, and then the import taxes and everything. You know, some of our partners are really suffering to. You know, to give any form of discount because of the actual additional costs that have come from freight charges, um, it's a law. They're a law on their own at the moment. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, we're looking at around just under the two, two eight for this, I think, and around five and a half for the, for the Vortex Eight, the bigger brother. Um, but again, that's all X works. Uh, but they are shipping, right? We are. We again, we are in a very, very, very fortunate position where, we, I say, took a gamble. Is, is we felt so confident what we had done was doing so well that we basically went all in and then all in again and we stopped up on huge amounts of components last year. Um, we, uh, we have about just under a thousand Vortex 8s in stock in China and about 800 in the US and about the same 500 and that and we have the capability if need be uh, we are making between 750 and a thousand Vortex 8 every month and if need be, we could push it up to 3,000 a month. Cool. So that's The only problem we have on, on, on components is we have a soft bag for the four, ah. but we can't get zips. It's funny, you're, the, no, you're not the first one to mention the soft bags, okay. actually. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it's strange that you can, you can produce a fantastic high-end electronic yeah. light, but we can't produce the bag for it because we can't get the zips. Well, I heard from somebody else that they actually couldn't get the boxes, oh, like the, the, the cartons. The so that I yeah, know. that's no. something no, you wouldn't it's, expect. It's, uh, it's been a real challenge, yeah. uh, and it still will be a challenge, I think, for at least another year or two. Um, and I, all I can say is, I'm just so proud of the team for their commitment. All the team, we've been a uh, we've been a great team together, and we've really pulled each other through hard times. And and to have the the confidence to believe in your product, yeah. hence we have stock. Cool. So yeah, no no long deliveries. That's good. Thank you, Spencer. Thank you. Thank Pleasure you very much. Always. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Synody's YouTube channel and our website for a lot more from NEB 2022. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thanks.